Hey everyone, this portion of today's video is brought to you by Hoist and their IV level hydration. If you've never heard me talk about it before, if you've never seen me drinking it in a video, let me give you a quick rundown. Hoist makes a specially formulated blend of carbohydrates, electrolytes, and fluids which match your body's natural osmosality. This means that Hoist can absorb rapidly into your body without the need for digestion. In this formula, we have three times the electrolytes and just half the sugar of a traditional sports drink. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial preservatives, sweeteners, or dyes. It's BPA free, it's kosher, and the best part, it's made right here in the United States of America. Now there are a lot of different flavors to choose from. My personal favorite is probably the grape flavor packets. What I like to do is add even a little bit more water than recommended. I will typically take a full Nalgene bottle, put a little bit of ice in there, fill the rest up almost all the way to the top with water. I'll dump a full packet of grape hoist in there. Of course, you gotta put the little drink stopper on the top. Give it a little shake and you're good to go. Now most recently, Hoist collaborated with Realtree, so they have a new blaze orange colorway here. It's the same great flavor of orange that you guys may have tried in the past, but they have a refreshed look with the Realtree camo up top, so for any hunters out there, this is going to be right up your alley. And last but not least, there is a new flavor. I have been putting off trying this flavor because I wanted to give you guys my impression on video. So right here we have a new flavor called Black Cherry. I'm gonna be completely honest with this I will say I do typically like cherry flavored things however when it comes to drinks and slushies and any kind of cherry flavored stuff a lot of times it could get it wrong but ooh, big big cherry flavor there let's give it a try oh they nailed it mmm it's actually really good. I was afraid it was going to be like a little bit too sweet and overpowering, but it's just like a nice mild cherry flavor and it's in a black hoist bottle. So you guys can support me in these videos by trying it out. Go over to drinkhoist.com slash and you can use code TALENTSI to save 10% off your order and use hoist to fuel your future adventures. Huge thank you to hoist for sponsoring this portion of today's video. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and welcome to my new studio. This is like still kind of under construction and I will be bringing you guys a video on my whole home studio office setup. Once it's finally complete, I need to adjust the lighting and get some of the sound echoes down a little bit. But for now, we're here, we're ready to film in here and I've been putting in a lot of work over the past couple of weeks. We'll get around to a studio tour eventually, but today we are talking about a kind of new-ish knife coming from Benchmade. Right here we have the 430BK-02, and this thing is known as the Redoubt. Of course this knife is coming in their black line, and this isn't a super new knife, but this is kind of a new colorway, which obviously hits home with me because in the black line, of course, we have some more tactical inspired knives. And this guy right here is completely blacked out now as opposed to the older colorway when they first launched this knife. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, when I pulled this thing out, I was not really blown away by anything. It just seems kind of like a plain everyday knife, but the more I carried this, I've been carrying it in my pocket for the past week, and the more I've compared this knife to some other of my personal favorite Benchmade kind of classics at this point. Using this thing and then putting them side by side with a lot of the other knives that I really liked, this knife has grown on me quite a lot, and it may seem kind of plain Jane, just like any other pocket knife out there, but there are a lot of things that I like about it. So let's dive into a couple of quick specs on the new Redoubt. This knife for me kind of falls on that medium to larger size scale. We're looking at an open length of 8.29 inches, a blade length of 3.55 inches, a blade thickness of about 0.124 inches, a closed length of 4.75 inches, and a handle thickness of 0.65 inches. Like I mentioned, what makes this knife new is the colorway, so everything on here is black, and that is something that I really love and appreciate. It of course comes in their black line box. It does have a black grivery handle. There is a lanyard hole on there and the blade is Cerakoted black, which also matches the black oxide pocket clip. 
This is tip up carry and it is reversible. This is kind of like the rounded pocket clip. So it comes around the back of the knife and kind of connects right on the back. There's a little screw hole in the pocket clip so you can remove that screw, pull out the pin and actually reverse it for any lefties out there. Speaking of left-handed people, they of course have the axis lock on here, which is already breaking in quite nicely. I've only carried this pocket knife for like maybe a week. And if you flip that pocket clip over to the left, any left-handed users should have no problem using a knife like this. The blade steel on here is a CPM D2, which is kind of like a tool steel, but it is a 60 or 62 on the Rockwell hardness scale. So far, the edge on this thing has been absolutely great, and I've been doing a lot of work with it over the past week as I've been kind of building out the office. I've cut a ton of cardboard boxes for my store. I've cut a lot of the foam panels that I have in here to kind of deaden the sound. And cutting foam with a straight edge knife like this is not the easiest thing. You will notice some like adhesive residue on there and you can tell it's already getting some wear marks on there, but so far this thing remains really sharp and it's done everything that I've needed it to do. This entire package is coming in at 3.72 ounces. So we're looking at sub four ounces, which a lot of people take into consideration when it comes to an everyday carry knife. And this is definitely a workhorse of a knife. Now the first comparison that I did was one of my very first Benchmade knives and I absolutely love this knife. I got it as a Christmas gift a long time ago and we're talking about the regular Griptilian. This is a 154 cm blade on there. You can tell there's a lot of tape residue and a bunch of gunk on there. I carried the crap out of this knife and I got it as a Christmas gift years ago and it was my first like, what I would consider a really nice pocket knife. Benchmade makes really great tools, obviously. I have a ton of Benchmade knives, probably more Benchmade knives than anything else in my collection. And when I got this knife, it is what I considered kind of an expensive knife at the time. So I remember going into my local kind of knife store saying, ah, I wanna get something else. I don't really wanna beat this thing up. And the guy looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, you don't wanna beat up a Griptilian, that's what this thing is made for. So comparing these two side by side, one thing that I tend to like a little bit more about the Redoubt is the actual blade shape on there. The drop point blade on there, it's just a little bit bigger overall. And the Griptilian is still great. It has a little bit of a curve to it, kind of like a little bit of a thumb ramp with some jimping down the back. But when I put both of these in my hand, I actually think I do prefer this newer Redoubt. The grivery handles on here, this is something that a lot of people tend to not like right from the jump. And I was the same way. I'm not a huge fan of it because it feels like plasticky. It feels like a cheap knife. So if you hand this to someone, they might just think it's like a gas station throwaway knife, but this is actually a really great handle material. It's really lightweight, super robust. I mean, you can barely flex this thing. And some of my favorite knives like the Benchmade Bug Outs, a lot of them come with this style handle. It hasn't failed me yet, and with this super aggressive texturing on here, it's kind of like a waffle pattern. The knife really feels locked into my hand. You do have a little bit of jimping on the back of the knife, and then some kind of like aggressive, almost serration feeling texturing on the front of the knife. If you're out in the field and your hands are sweaty or muddy or bloody, whatever it may be, this thing has a really nice grip, and I think a lot of people will appreciate that. I would say the grip on this is even better than the grip on the Griptilian, which is kind of ironic. But also this knife is probably close to 10 years old at this point. So it's nice to kind of have something new and refreshed. A little bit different steel on there, different shape and size. But as of now, I'm a really big fan of this design because it kind of fits into the style of some of my favorite knives. Speaking of that, let's do a little bit more of a comparison, not just the Griptilian, but I got some other knives over here that will give you guys an idea of the size and the shape and everything else about the Redoubt. All right, another close up look at the Redoubt. Pretty thick overall. I really like the texturing on here. Basically texturing everywhere you touch this blade. Centering is really nice. There's little to no blade play on here. And you do have a little bit of like a flow through design there so you can blow out any pocket lint or anything like that. I have relatively large size hands and this is probably my favorite size of knife as well as the blade shape drop point on there. There's a lot of gunk and adhesive residue on there right now, but we have a little bit of a swedge on the back which you can kind of see shimmering in the light there. Great looking blade overall. Again, nothing really to write home about, but I think this knife is kind of a sleeper. We'll compare that directly to the old faithful 
Benchmade Griptilian. There's a lot of blade and gunk and kind of marring on the blade there because I actually use these things. A little bit of a different steel. D2, in the past it was kind of known as just a tool steel, but the newer versions of D2, I feel like they've been holding edges really great. They're easy to sharpen and it's just like a really great steel for kind of doing a little bit of everything. Not necessarily a super steel, but gets the job done. Now in the Benchmade family, we also have this guy right here, which I've reviewed in the past, the Super Freak. This is a very large knife. This one feels a little bit larger than the Redoubt itself. A little bit more stylized with the cool G10 handles on there. We have the red liners on the inside, axis lock, pocket clip. This one is not deep carry. And it looks to be about the same size, but it does feel a little bit bigger overall, just the way the handle is shaped on this guy. Now we can't go wrong with one of the best folding knives out there. We have a Chris Reeve Sebenza 31 here. I believe I've done a video on this in the past. I think I've done a video on all these knives that we're talking about today, but very comparable in size to the large Sebenza. Just a little bit different of a price point there. I haven't even mentioned it yet, but the Redoubt is coming in at $200 starting right now on Benchmade's website. And there are different options like the original launch version, which is kind of like gray. They have like OD green color, gold hardware on there. So they have a little bit of different flavors for whatever you may like. Another one I often use for comparisons, the Zero Tolerance 0804 CF. This is another USA made knife. Titanium and carbon fiber discontinued. I don't know why they discontinued it, but the action on this is great. It has a nice detent, very, very smooth. And of course it has the flipper on there. ZT is definitely a little bit larger than the Redoubt, but it's all kind of in the same like large, not super large family. Another great blade, if you're looking for something a little more lightweight, is the Spyderco Manix. This is the lightweight version. Golden Colorado, keeping it close to home. This is a CTS BD1N, and really like the full flat grind on this guy. Fiber reinforced nylon, and then kind of this like slide lock, very similar to the Axis lock. A little bit different of a feeling handle on here. I do like that you can kind of choke up on it and that is one thing that I also look for in some everyday carry knives, just a little bit of a different feel to it all. Speaking of that, we have the Protec Mordax with that frontward finger choil there. This knife also really great fit and finish on there. This was a collab with Drop. This is a CPM 20 CV, a lot more expensive than the Redoubt, but another nice option with a very, very similar overall size. Now an honorable mention for something that is also new right here, we have another new release, a Claymore OTF. I don't think I've ever really reviewed the Claymore. I have a mini version of that blade. That is an automatic knife and this one right here is probably going to be next on the chopping block. So this is a new design, grivery handles, and of course it is an OTF, deep carry pocket clip on there. Check out this blade, woo. Look at those huge like scallop style serrations on there. It is a dagger blade so you can cut with both edges. Kind of a neat knife. I'm not a huge OTF guy, but for anyone out there who is a fan of Benchmade and their OTF line, this might be a really cool option for you. I'm gonna throw this in my pocket and let's say we get to, let's do 500 likes on this video and I will bring you guys a video on this guy sometime next week or whenever we hit that goal. So there's a quick size comparison for you guys out there who may have some of these other knives. When it comes to a workhorse style knife in this like size and category, I think I'm actually going to pick the Redoubt over the Benchmade Griptilian, which used to be my kind of favorite do-it-all knife with a little bit of everything. So there you have it. If you want any more comparisons, let me know. Got my huge box of knives next to me. I can post some more kind of comparisons over on my Instagram. So those are my thoughts on the Benchmade Redoubt, kind of new, at least new colorway for this time of year. I think this is a great medium to large size everyday carry knives. If you guys have any questions on this thing, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer anything as best as possible. This is going to obviously go into my knife case for some future comparisons. And now I'm going to put the new Claymore OTF in my pocket and get a little bit of use time with that. And like I said, if this video can get to 500 likes, I'll bring you guys a video on that thing next week. So that's all for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe and make new videos every single week. And with this new studio, I think we're going to be making a lot more gear videos, EDC, just kind of like sit down chats and talks. 
might bring back the podcast. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.